Hello, welcome to paradise, my home. I want to share some things with you on this cold March day in my home near Hollywood, of course. And I want to share a secret with you. And the secret is something that I'm about to show you, but the secret will also be revealed to you in Konos. When I'm there teaching the history of structures, it will change your life. For now, let's go in here and see this mysterious path. And let's talk a little bit about paths and mysteries. Who knew the secrets of Raphael Guastavino? Who knew the secrets of Pierre Luigi Nervi, Myron Goldsmith, Fosler Khan, Bill Baker, and many, many others, Jörg Schleich, Fry Otto. We will learn all of these secrets through the prism of the engineer's imagination. But let's go over here and see what I want to show you. So this is where I write my lectures and I write my music. It's a nice spot. Look at this. Yes. So this is where I live and this is where I compose. This is where I'm sharing some ideas with you. So the ideas are this. We look through the history of structures through the prism of the engineer's imagination. There are three levels that we will look at in our course. The lowest level is the scientific level. Don't worry about that. It's tension and compression. That's it. And the next level is more complicated. The social level. How do people use the space? How is the space treated over time. And finally, the most important level of critique is the symbolic. What do these structures mean? What is the power of this narrative as a culturally important tool in the history of our lives, really? So we can talk about history through wars and through politics, or we can talk about it through beauty and creativity and mystery. And that is the secret. The secret is that engineers understand this. The greatest structural engineers in the history of our profession have created art and mathematics and blended them together. And I will show you this path. I'm looking for 150 or so of you to join me on this journey, this magical, mysterious journey. When I teach this at Cal Poly, at California Polytechnic, I have 150 students in the hall, and I have 50 or so that cannot get in because we don't have any seats. What I want is 150 people waiting to get into this lecture. And if you don't get in this time, Maybe Safas, Statibos ir Architecturas Facultatas, will invite me next time, and the rest of you can magically enjoy this moment. I look forward to meeting you, to talking with you, to inspiring you, and literally to change your lives for the better. And honest, when I saw this, and it all started with Guastavino, when I saw Rafael Guastavino, I couldn't stop. And that was 15 years ago. I haven't stopped and I won't stop because the message is so powerful that it utterly transformed me. I want to share that transformation with you. I look forward to seeing you and to being a positive force of change in your lives. Ikki.